Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the mini bridge contest. Now as the name implies, uh, all the contestants had to build a bridge in this uh, contest. I gave them all this map with these uh, cliffs here and the river in the middle. And all contestants had to build a bridge um, across these cliffs. They, had, uh, they were allowed to make the cliffs higher or lower. They were also allowed to uh, make the middle part higher or lower. And players also had to decorate the, the area. As for the bridge, um, the bridge has, has to allow uh, guests to pass from one side to the other by foot and it has to allow some form of traffic uh, across the bridge. So um, yeah, we'll start with the entry that got last place and I will continue on until finally um, I can announce the winner of the round. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Festung. Now, um, this entry was actually disqualified because it was handed in one day uh, too late. So uh, I couldn't include it in the, yeah, for for scoring. But I did include it in the voting pool just with with uh, with the mention that it was uh, disqualified for the round. So yeah, this is quite an uh, interesting uh, bridge structure. So in the middle here you can see the guests uh, going on a path. And around them there are all these uh, go-karts. Um, yeah, I thought this was uh, quite a fun entry. It's uh, it's uh, fun to see all the traffic go uh, go around here. Now there are, are also some issues in this park. Um, first of all, it's not really clear to me what this big structure here actually is. A lot of the track texture isn't named, so that's probably always a good thing to do, just so uh, so it becomes more clear. Um, yeah, just exactly what we are looking at here. Some of the stuff is uh, named. Uh, well, this thing apparently isn't <laughs> Twister or Coaster one. And there's also lots of broken stuff here and uh, lots of litter. So I'm not sure if that was uh, intentional. But still, this was definitely a very unique bridge. And it's very different from everything else that I've seen in this uh, contest. Okay, then in 15th place we have this entry from Rice Extreme Cup Challenge. Uh, he made this aqueduct over uh, this river. Uh, something I really liked, all these uh, fishes that you see under the water that he made with these uh, monorail cycles. Uh, as for the bridge structure, uh, I think this was the only uh, actual aqueduct, so that's uh, pretty unique. That's pretty fun to see. And apparently this uh, big boat here, uh, yeah, travels over the aqueduct here. Now, one little mistake that uh, Rice Cup made was actually that this arch for the bridge here is actually not uh, high enough for the ship to actually be able to pass under it. And the same goes for this uh, tunnel here. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this ship was probably constructed right here in place. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what's up. Uh, what's up with that? Now um, the structure for the bridge itself is quite simple. It's just some uh, blocks here, but I do really, really like these uh, arches that uh, that Rysko made, and I'm also quite fond of the railings that he made here for the bridge. All right, here's the entry from Capitalism Ho. Uh, this is his first uh, entry for one of my uh, contests. It's always nice to see a new player uh, who has actually been a member on my Discord for quite a while uh, actually go ahead and join in the, one of the contests. Now, sadly, this entry really only works from uh, one angle. Uh, if you turn it around, there will be some uh, floating trees and stuff. The supports will be quite messy. Uh, interestingly enough, <laughs> there's actually some waterfalls here that you cannot see from the default angle of the yeah the, that the game starts in there's also some signs here please don't rotate here <laughs> if you can read this turn away yeah it's uh, usually not a good idea to make a map that's only really feelable from uh, one angle now um yeah he actually didn't have a way of a form of traffic to cross to uh, go across the bridge so he actually just made a monor uh, uh, that goes under the bridge it's in test mode, so it doesn't carry any guests, so that's uh, that's quite sad. Would have been nice to see it actually uh, ferry guests across from one side to the other. Now, what I do really like is how he used these uh, park entrance pieces to make these banners here above the bridge. That's, uh, that's a really cool and real creative way of using this uh, object. Now, uh, yeah, other than that, there's some weird things, <laughs> like these empty boats going around. When you click them, they point to a different ride. So you probably uh, actually completely removed the track with Tile Inspector. No, it is quite weird to see a boat just go around with that without anyone to uh, to row it. 
The same for this boat which is stuck here and vibrating inside this building here. That's uh, kind of strange. But yeah, some interesting uh, buildings here for sure. And uh, some uh, objects were really used in a clever way here. Alright, then we get the entry from Lurker. Now this is quite a simple entry. I think he didn't uh, have too much time to work on it. But uh, he did make a really interesting bridge. Now the landscaping etc. it's all quite uh, quite simple. Just uh, some trees here. I think he uh, just ex used exactly the same landscape as it uh, as it started. It's just a road here, a little house. But uh, I must say I was quite fond of the bridge, the way he made it. I really like the support structure and color for it. I really like how he did these uh, yeah these supports here. Uh, Especially from this angle, it really looks like the support beams really connect to this uh, to this metal piece here. So that uh, that looks really nice. But yeah, as uh, most people uh, commented, uh, b besides this bridge, there's not really much else uh, to see. So yeah, the bridge uh, structure itself is really nice, but uh, it could have probably really used some uh, some extra stuff here in the landscape, just to keep the intention of the viewer a little bit longer. Okay, here's the entry from Kazulius. Now, I really like this uh, bridge. I really love how he uh, made it with these uh, all these castle uh, pieces. Um, I think that he combined them really well also with these Egyptian uh, wall pieces here. And also really like how he put these uh, cables connecting these towers together here. So like how he used these uh, castle towers for these uh, tower pieces above the bridge. That's really uh, clever. Also love the mini golf here. And there's also a bicycle ride that uh, travels uh, across the bridge here. Now, something that uh, was less nice, I think, is the ca actual castle over here. Um, yeah, it, it, it really looks a bit like he slapped some of these pieces together. When you make a castle like this, uh, I think it will generally work better if you actually use some, uh, yeah, some slanted roofs like track texture or some. Uh, yeah, just some actual roofs, and not just flat roofs with these uh, towers. And also for these uh, towers, I'm not really sure if it looks nice if you put these round towers next to one another. It doesn't really uh, make sense. So yeah, I think for most people, uh, this part was uh, was mostly the letdown. I also saw some com some comments about the Goliath uh, uh, text being used for rock work here. I think that's actually done. Uh, yeah, I think that will actually work quite well. But some more height differences would have probably made it look uh, even nicer. But still, uh, I personally was uh, quite fond of the bridge. Nice work. Okay, here we have the entry from Flan. Uh, Flan made this uh, impressive uh, bridge here uh, from the Le Legacy Brothers. <laughs> now, I love seeing these uh, trains go on uh, one level of the bridge. And there's these cars going around on a different level. And then there's the guests uh, going around on, the, on top of it. So yeah, I love seeing all these uh, different levels. And uh, yeah, I think the colors uh, are also done in quite a nice way. It's like one of these old uh, metal bridges uh, that are completely in one color. Like you often see for uh, for older uh, bridges. Now, something that uh, left me a little bit confused were these corkscrews which wrap around the bridge. Not really sure uh, what that's supposed to represent, and I'm not really sure uh, whether I like it or not. I think it would have been better uh, without those. But still, I love the arches, I love the structure of the bridge around it. That's all pretty cool. Now, the area next to the bridge is uh, pretty uh, crowded. Maybe, maybe it looks a little bit too, uh, too chaotic for my taste. But still, I think he did a really nice job on this bridge. Uh, yeah, and I just love uh, the way this uh, this green monstrosity looks. All right, then we make a, a little bit of a jump in score. Uh, here's the entry from Astro Third. Now he actually uh, recreated a bridge, which uh, closes once every year for uh, yeah, for Bridge Day. And on a day, there's actually a, a, yeah, a bungee jump uh, thingy, so guests can. Uh, can jump down from the bridge while attached to a rope, so he made uh, this uh, bungee jumper right here. That's uh, really cool. And there's also a rafting on the river uh, uh, below it, and he actually used these uh, river rapids boats for that. 
and here it will disappear into the rocks. Uh, yeah, I uh, really love the structure he made for the bridge with these big footers under it, uh, in which this uh, these uh, arches uh, rest. I think these arches are done in a really nice way. I also love how he made the cliffs taller, and also uh, yeah, this gradient that he made with these uh, wall pieces. It looks like there's different uh, layers of rocks uh, for these cliffs. Also, the foliage is done in a in a pretty nice way. So yeah, there's lots of cool stuff in this map. Uh, some things uh, I liked a little bit less were how he did th this sign here saying closed. Uh, this looks a little bit messy in my uh, opinion. Maybe you should have just put the text closed on one sign in the middle. I'm not really sure how it would have been better. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, why well, he also made some other uh, structures here. They look a little bit uh, chunky, <laughs> like this ambulance here. But still, I think he made a really nice uh, effort in this map. And I just love the structure of the bridge. Okay, here's the entry from Manticore. Uh, he actually re remade uh, a bridge in the Netherlands, the Oosterschelde Kering. It's actually like a storm barrier. So here you can see the actual barriers, which can lower into the water if the if the if a storm tide gets too high. So it's to protect the inland. Now, I think he did an amazing job on this, uh, on recreating it. I just love how he uh, created these uh, these towers and also the stuff surrounding it. Uh, also this bridge, I think it looks uh, amazing. Some uh, bicyclists uh, going around and it's, and you can also see uh, several cars uh, driving uh, back and forth. I think he uh, did the traffic here in a really convincing way. And actually one of my favorite parts was this little scene that he, uh, that he created here. Here's an unlucky man, and here's the Wegenwacht, so the guys who come to uh, pick up your, or fix uh, your car when you're stranded. So yeah, it's always uh, scenes like these that uh, that I really enjoy. I think he also did a really nice job on these uh, light posts. They look really uh, nice. So yeah, um, also some fishes here in the water. I think if he uh, added a little bit more stuff here on the shorelines, just some more things to uh, grab the attention, maybe like a boat or two. Uh, I think the entry would have gotten uh, an even higher score. Something I did really enjoy was also this uh, cross section of this bridge that he made with some utility stuff uh, passing through it. That was really cool. Okay, here's the entry from Ulfenwood. Now, this <laughs> entry again uses a very cursed uh, palette made by Taylor Hank. But uh, Tarang actually modified it a bit for him to make the blue more icy. Uh, if you don't know what palette I'm talking about, you should check the Hypercoaster Contest. The Morgan Hypercoaster Contest, and then check Terror Hank's entry. But yeah, there was, uh, I don't remember what it's called, like a bridge of uh, ice and fire or something. You can actually see some dragons uh, go to war. Uh, so these dragons... Uh, have have used their ice breath ice breath on these uh, buildings here, changing everything in, uh, into a frozen mess. <laughs> and here on this side, this dragon uh, uses fire breath or a fricandella breath. Not really sure what it is to light stuff on uh, on fire here. So yeah, I think these uh, these buildings on both sides they're beautiful. I absolutely love this uh, bridge that he made here. It's also fun to see the traffic uh, go around on it in the form of these uh, Pegasus uh, chariots. So yeah, this one, I think this was a really uh, impressive entry. But uh, it's a little bit chaotic and the palette <laughs> is uh, probably a bit too uh, saturated. But still, I think uh, Ulfenwood did an incredible job in this entry. And it was uh, really uh, fun to, uh, to watch. Okay, here we have the entry from Mackett. Uh, Mackett made this really impressive uh, arch bridge. I love the way Mackett did this structure. Now, the bridge is quite glitchy. Uh, but yeah, if you go into open gel mode, it's uh, better. Uh, not really sure if my uh, recording software actually works with open gel mode. So I'm just going to keep it in the mode which, is, which it is in right now. Uh, yeah, also for the road, it's uh, almost hard to believe this is not custom scenery, but this is just an impressive use of different layers of path and a fence in between, just to make this uh, yeah this road look really uh, pretty. So I really like to see the guests uh, go uh, go around, walk on the 
yeah, on the sidewalk right next to the bridge. And these buildings here, they're also uh, really nicely done. I just love this curve also in this building. This uh, junction here is done really nicely. It's also nice to see some uh, traffic uh, waiting here. Uh, yeah, there's th these buildings are just uh, very uh, impressive. And the bridge is also uh, yeah, done in a really nice way. This is just a really nice mix of track texture and uh, scenery. Also some uh, train tracks uh, here with a train that's probably uh, not supposed to be here in the in the grass. Must have been an accident <laughs> that happened here. Oh, it's a really nice uh, tunnel here and a sign that asks if uh, if s someone has got milk. <laughs> so yeah, really uh, impressive work uh, once again from uh, Meckett. Maybe it would have been even nicer if there was also some stuff here uh, in the water. Okay, here's the entry from Emil. Now Emil went for, for a really nice uh, scene, like in the Grand Canyon maybe, something like that. <laughs> uh, I love this uh, this waterfalls that he made here on the side. And of course this uh, bridge that's here in the middle is also really impressive. So it actually uh, carries a train on top and then uh, guests go around in this smaller bridge which is on a lower uh, level. I think the support structure for this bridge is really uh, impressive. I really like the way he uh, did it. And all the stuff that's around the bridge is also done in a really nice way. I love these uh, buildings that he, uh, that he made here. Here's the saloon. I especially love this building that he made here. Uh, cut out into the mountain. That's really cool. Also some re really cool buildings here. Uh, also on top of the rocks. And also on this side of the of the bridge it's a little church here now what i especially liked about this map is how much there's going on in the rest of the map lots of uh, entertainers even uh, boat here this D dkmp love boat with uh, scottish novis and dirk link <laughs> that's a uh, really cool really cute uh, some horses chasing one another here and uh, yeah pretty much uh, everyone in the discord is uh, included in the map as an entertainer doing something uh, funny so yeah um, when people put uh, DKMP members in the park you shouldn't really just put them down uh, with just their name you should put them doing something funny and that's uh, yeah that's generally appreciated a lot more by the by the various discord members and it's way funnier this way and uh, it's sure a way to uh, keep people uh, yeah, to keep people's attention on your uh, on your park and that's really what you want so yeah, i think it's a great bridge and there's a uh, great landscaping uh, as well i think it would have gotten a higher score if the bridge itself was uh, maybe a little bit more impressive a bigger uh, structure but still i think it's uh, it's really a uh, really nice job from emil all right now we get to the top five now the top five were all really close together in score um, so yeah, with one different vote, uh, there would have probably been a different winner. Anyway, this is the entry that got 5th place. This is the entry from Shen Kitchen. Now what you will immediately see is that uh, Shen used the l a light background again. Uh, it doesn't really make the interface uh, text very pleasant to read. But it uh, does provide for a nice uh, backdrop for this map. So this... Uh, yeah, unlike everyone else, uh, Shen actually turned the cliffs into buildings. So, uh, yeah, the bridge is still uh, approximately uh, the same size. But, uh, yeah, these uh, buildings were supposed to be high up uh, in the sky. Uh, this light background is probably clouds. And then there's a bridge uh, connecting these, uh, these uh, buildings. Now, I think these buildings are really uh, impressive. There's just so many different layers uh, going on here. So many uh, different uh, yeah, buildings here. Kind of looks uh, cyberpunky. There's just uh, also in these buildings. There's quite a lot of uh, movement. Uh, yeah, by, uh, mostly caused by these expansion items and these uh, and these uh, moving track structures. Uh, there's also a multi-dimension coaster uh, traveling around here. I believe this is the only entry which actually has a working coaster on it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool to see, actually. And uh, it does really fit the theme of this uh, cyberpunk stuff. Actually, a multi-dimension coaster, something you don't uh, often see. Might be a nice idea for, uh, for our next contest. 
But yeah, also on this side, just uh, really impressive uh, buildings. That just looks really cool. As for the bridge, uh, it also has several layers. So in the middle, there's a layer here for the guests to uh, walk on. Uh, here's uh, actually some really old-fashioned uh, cars. That's a nice uh, contrast with all these uh, really modern, futuristic uh, buildings. And on the layer below that is a monorail. What's actually funny is that the monorail actually has two rails. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think this is a really great usage of the new uh, hybrid coasted track because it uh, fits really well for a suspended uh, train track here. That's just done in a really cool way. So yeah, I absolutely love this entry. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a well-deserved spot in the, in the top five. All right, then we have uh, Ty for third place. <laughs> now, this one's from Risico. As you can see, he actually made a working bridge. So this is actually based on a real bridge that's in the Netherlands which uh, can move its uh, deck uh, completely up or uh, or down uh, to allow bridges to allow ships to uh, to pass under it it's actually made with a lot of these uh, lift cars and then when the trains pass uh, are back in the station the bridge will actually move uh, up again <laughs> this is just done in such a cool way so yeah, it will uh, stay up here for a while and then uh, it will go down again and then the trains will pass under it again I think they're simply just uh, timed to uh, to continue on like this but yeah this is <laughs> i really like the way he did this this is just so clever one of the few entries which actually have a working uh, bridge so yeah, um, i actually gave this entry a maximum score myself i just loved the, the way uh risico just made this uh, bridge this is uh, so well done i also really like the buildings that he made around it uh, sometimes it's just hard to believe this is uh, done without custom objects but yeah this is just a clever mix of uh, signs and uh, walls uh, to make all these uh, windows here also I really like how we made this uh, station here all the different buildings and the bridge structure itself also looks amazing so yeah I think he did an uh, amazing job here and uh, the water is a little bit glitchy here probably because uh, there are some objects underwater here which are not uh, moved under the surface. I think uh, he could have probably done a little bit more with the uh, yeah the, the underwater uh, ground textures, uh, just to make it look a little bit uh, more interesting uh, here in the middle underwater, uh, or maybe also with the with the shore. But still, this is uh, incredible work, and uh, this was really uh, one of my favorite uh, bridges of the bunch. Great job. Now here's the other entry that got third place. Um, this is the entry from Robbie Hood. Now <laughs> you have to see this to believe it. There's actually a Tetris scene going on here. You can see all these blocks uh, shift uh, while the cars here are uh, waiting. <laughs> so yeah, you can see these blocks uh, slowly move in place. And here's the final block. And then when uh, I will speed it up a bit, but. Uh, the game probably won't actually speed up by much because there's just so many uh, vehicles uh, in the background. There's probably over 200 rides in this map. And then when it has filled up, um, all these cars will actually start moving and pass on to the uh, to the other side. Now I have no idea how Robbie Hood did this. This is just beyond my uh, my comprehension. But still, this is uh, yeah, this is incredible work. Uh, and then after it w after a while it will uh, reset again um, and then the blocks will actually start coming in again now i have absolutely no idea how he did this uh, we can look at the back here and then you can actually see what's uh, going on well <laughs> yeah i have no idea what's what is actually uh, going on here um, or how this uh, actually works but yeah, this is uh, just some incredible work from uh, from Robbie Hood once again. Now, um, the reason this got third place and not first place is, uh, well, while everyone was really impressed with the workings of the bridge, uh, yeah, this was not really the best looking bridge and half of the score came from how the bridge uh, actually looked. So you probably could have uh, put a little bit more attention into the how this uh, stuff here actually looked. But still, like I said, this is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, I think we all uh, owe uh, Robbie Hood an explanation of how this actually uh, works. Uh, and until that time, I accuse him of uh, witchcraft. <laughs>
All right, let's uh, move on to the final two entries. So for the final two entries, uh, I will first show both of the entries. And after that, I will announce which one was the winner of the round. All right, here's the entry from Enox. Now he made this uh, beautiful scene uh, of the Tower Bridge in uh, London. Uh, I think he did an incredible job uh, making this bridge. I just love the structure here. There's just so many layers in this uh, bridge. It's a really nice mixture of uh, track texture and uh, scenery. I love how he did these uh, roofs here with all these nice uh, decorations. It is hard to believe this is done without any custom scenery. Now I also love the traffic going around on the bridge. Of course, with these uh, with these uh, double deck uh, buses and uh, these typical uh, British uh, cars going around in them. There's also some uh, boats going around in the water, some uh, underwater foliage here as well, and a nice mixture of uh, underwater ground textures. I also love the way he did these uh, buildings uh, around the bridge. Uh, yeah, there's also the shoreline, it just looks really nice oh, with all these beautiful uh, decorations here. Uh, I think he just did, Enox just did uh, everything right in this uh, in this map. This is just an incredible uh, piece of work. Uh, also really love the way he did the windows on this uh, building. That's just done in an incredible way. Also some funny scenes around here. Here's a, a car accident. You can see Emil who crashed his uh, new car here. Poor guy. Also with some smoke. <laughs> So yeah, this is just a, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful, well done structure, funny scenes, beautiful uh, scenery. Uh, yeah, I think Enox just did everything uh, right in this map. So uh, great work. All right, now let's take a look at the next entry, which could also be the winner of the round. All right, here's the other possible winner of the round. This is the entry from uh, Milpia. Now, once again, Milpia has made an incredible uh, fantasy-like uh, scene with this uh, beautiful uh, bridge here. Uh, so for the traffic, there's actually these uh, knights traveling along, along the bridge. And also, I believe there were several uh, battering rams, which is also uh, yeah one of the vehicles from one of the expansions. Now, I think the palette works great here. I love this shade of uh, brown, that uh, or grayish uh, brown that the uh, Milpia used here for the bridge. I think it combines really well with the purple that's used here. I just love uh, this bridge also with all the plants on it and these banners. They're just done in a great way. I love all the little details here on the bridge and also all this uh, brown uh, stuff that's uh, yeah that's surrounding the, the walkway here. It's just done in an incredible way. And once again, uh, as this is an um, entry from Milpia, there's also beautiful landscaping. Um, now also some really funny uh, scenes here. Here's a little uh, campground. Lots of the members of the Discord actually included here. And then when you think you've seen it all, there's uh, also a big boat here in the river passing under the bridge. So yeah, just an incredible structure, an incredible mix of scenery and uh, track texture. Uh, yeah, just a typical uh, Milpia entry. This is just incredible to, uh, to look at. All right, then it's now time to reveal um, who is the winner of the round. Is it Enox or is it Milpia? The winner of the 14th mini contest where everyone had to build a bridge is... Milpia. Now, once again, uh, Milpia takes the cake. <laughs> now, like I said, the scores of the top five were all really close together. One vote uh, could have changed the outcome. Um, I think this is the deserved winner of the round. But yeah, this round had just had so many amazing entries. So I'm really glad we did this uh, bridge contest. And I'm really glad that everybody just uh, showed uh, their talents in this round. This was an incredible round and it uh, will remain one of my uh, favorites. Just uh, such incredible uh, creations were shown in this round. I uh, absolutely love it. 
So if you want to join one of these rounds yourself, um, just simply become a member on my Discord server. Uh, yeah, these mini contests, I will announce when we do another one. And yeah, you can just follow the rules document, which uh, will be linked on my Discord and in the video description to see what you will have to do to join it. Uh, my Discord server is completely free, so don't uh, don't worry about uh, about joining. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching all these entries. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in the next one. See you later. Thank you.